Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some of my March favorites. If you can't tell by the video, the title of the video, we I have some products right here in front of me that I've been loving, 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 loving um, for the month, month of March. Um, maybe even more so than March because like kind of stuck with the same products for here a little bit. But um, anyways, but so I figured I'd just go ahead and talk about them today and get this video up for you guys. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of the Cali Kinder family. And also hit that like button. Let me know that you liked this video and you want to see more of my favorite videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, um, March favorite. All right, you guys, I hope you cannot hear my husband's music in the background. He is actually in our garage, which is right next to this room. And so he's working out right now. And yeah, so we're just gonna ignore that. By the way, I hope you like this shirt. It's super comfy and like I had to just throw it on. We just literally got back from a cheer competition. My nieces are both of Miss Tammy's. Yay, I'm so proud of them. The, um, we call it Miss Tammy's. It's a cheer and dance facility here in our hometown. And I actually did it for 15 years. And now they're doing it, so I'm really excited for them. So first things first, this is the No Problem uh, Primer that I actually got in a BoxyCharm, and I love this. It doesn't make me dry out super much, and it also, um, it, my pores are still there. I'm going to tell you that my pores are still there, but they're not as big, and they don't look like cakey. Now, I know y'all know that I use the Dr. Brandt's Pour No More. Um, I did like this primer because it did fill in my pores. However, it did make them look almost like, like, I don't know, filled in too much. I don't know, like you're, came, you're filling in a hole like with dirt or something. Like that's literally how I felt with this one. But this one, I do not feel that way at all. And it keeps me, I look hydrated, but it's not like an over like greasiness that like, that other one kind of did so i really enjoy this and if you are an oily person and you have like bigger pores this would probably be really good it doesn't fill them in completely i like i can still see them like i still see them on my nose but it's not noticeable so and it's it's very pretty i think it's very simple and easy to just kind of put in my t-zone and like i also put it everywhere else and it this is like a kind of weird thing but it also i feel like it fills in like my scarring i have scarring on my face so I feel like it kind of like plumps it up to where it's not looking so scarring. That makes sense. I don't know. But I enjoy that primer a lot. The next two products I have are, I put them together. If you don't, if you didn't see my Instagram video, go see it. It's me. I'm just doing a quick and simple makeup look. And these two products are magical together. I don't know what it is but they make me look so full coverage. I would keep looking at myself in the mirror because I'm just like, I have to like look at myself to tell you like how it is. But, okay, so it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear uh, Fresh Wear Foundation and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Oh my word. I don't know what magical stuff that are in both of these bottles, but I literally feel like my face is like covered and it's so good. So whenever I used to wear the devil wear, it would be almost feel like too cakey. So what I do now is I do two pumps of this and I do two pumps of this. And when I wore this, it made me feel like super, I don't, I don't know what the word is. It was just kind of too much. Like I guess both of them together like one, this kind of made me almost oily. And then this one is like, I don't know. Maybe they're opposites. I don't know. Like, it's just something magical that they both do to my face. And I'm just like, um, excuse me. Can I like make this like in a bottle and put it together and make a foundation out of it? Because I don't know. It's just something that it makes my skin feel so pretty. Like it covers in the right areas and it's not dewy. It's not, I mean, it is dewy, but it's not like, greasy oily and stuff like that i don't know if it has to do with a pairing like of this two together or all three of these together but my makeup has been looking I'm, not, I'm like bragging right now my makeup is looking bomb lately and i totally believe it's because of these two because 
every time I try to put on another foundation or anything, I can't, I can't do it. It, it doesn't stand a chance next to these two. So, loving those two products. And if you haven't worn this on your own, you should definitely check it out. Because I think it is a really great full coverage foundation. I just can't remember why I didn't like it. Well, I liked it, but I didn't like it because I think I felt too dry. But that could have also been because of the powder I was using. Because now we're going to talk about a powder that I've been loving. It is, I think I literally got it, when did I get it? A week or two ago? And I've, nothing else can touch it. Like, no, I, I don't know what she put in this, but... It is the Kylie setting powder, and this is in the color Translucent, this powder. Okay, so y'all know I used to use my pretty vulgar powder that uh, I got this in a BoxyCharm. This is great. Like, don't I love this. Don't get me wrong. But it would make me feel so dry, and I thought I needed that because, you know, I'm an oily person. But when I got the Kylie powder... Everything turned around. I don't... Okay, so I'll explain to you why. Is whenever I put on my foundation, I have to... And I bake. I bake underneath my eyes. And I have to bake, like, right here my smile lines. So whenever I'm doing that, it doesn't... This powder, compared to the Pretty Vulgar powder, the Pretty Vulgar powder would make me see my smile lines. And it would make me look really creasy right here underneath my eyes. And with this, I don't look creasy. I do not have my smile lines. It is completely set. And I'm, like, ready to go. I don't look like I'm tired anymore. I don't look like I have really weird, like, smile lines. It's just, oh, I don't know what it did. But it literally changed the way my makeup looked without that powder. I think it's, like, it's not a completely... I'm sorry, there's a dog in my window. I feel like this isn't really a drying powder. I feel like there is like a smooth, smoothing and wetness to this powder. Now, I'm really actually interested in ordering like the pink one. I, it's just so smooth and like you're just, oh, it just, I don't even know what, it feels like air and it feels like, it's so soft. Like you, like I'm just touching it and just, amazed with this formulation and everything like that now I will say that you get 0.35 ounces in this powder and that's not a lot compared to what you get in this one this is 0.88 ounces um so but I would totally rather buy this over anything just because of how it makes my skin look and everything underneath my eyes and everything because it doesn't whenever I had the pretty vulgar on it would look like I was like old and like was you know getting older and you know I am getting older I'm 25 I'm gonna be 26 this year and so when I got this I was just like oh I'm a new woman I'm young and fresh and everything and it just changed the way I wanted to apply my makeup and I also bake here and it just it, oh, it's so good. So I like bake here, bake here, I bake on my nose and I bake here and it just makes your skin feel so pretty and so smooth and I don't know, I guess, I, I don't know what she did with this, but this is bomb. I'm, I will let you know what happens if I order some other ones. By the way, excuse my nails, I'm going to get them done tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> By the time you see this, you probably, my nails are going to probably already be done. Speaking of concealer, I completely forgot that I'm loving the L'Oreal Infallible also. This is what I've been wearing underneath the powder, the Kylie powder, and I think it makes a world of difference. Because this is actually kind of drying underneath my eyes, which is surprising considering, like, um... I'm like really, really oily underneath my eyes. So like having this and it be super drying underneath my eyes is really weird. So when I put the Kylie on though, it just makes it perfect. But I also didn't know it was drying because of this, this stuff. So, but this concealer is awesome. It covers my dark circles and I actually used it today on my knees and it just works perfectly. Drugstore concealers, bomb. Okay, this little next little 
session section it's a little excessive for highlighters but I've been so obsessed with highlighters lately it's unreal so the first two I'm going to talk about because they're about the same brand are these ColourPop super shock um, highlighters and this one is called actually I'm sorry excuse me it's super shock cheek and um, this is in the shade counting sheep and this one is called in the shade mr. wind now I can't I don't know how many videos I've actually used both of these in um, but I know I've used mr. wind a lot um, and they're just so wet and oh my gosh they look amazing on your skin um, I especially like to use that's mr. wind I love to wear this one on a day where I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup because it just gives a great glow and then that counting sheet one can we just look at that really pretty champagne color oh that's oh that's so good oh so pretty um these two shades are perfect and they marry very well to your skin and they just seep in and they just make you look so like it's almost like you were just like drenched in like gold <laughs> that's how I feel about these so the next um I actually have two more highlights and this one's a recent discovery because I just got it um I'm gonna pull this film off shows you how recent I got it this is the Kylie highlighter in um the shade cheers darling now I just literally oh, sorry I just use this maybe once or twice and I'm already in love with it it makes me feel all different kinds of ways oh my gosh it just catches that light and you're just like oh yeah I'm basking in gold I am dripping in like highlight and you're just feeling like amazing oh it's so pretty it's this one right here if you can't tell um but it's so pretty and I looked online and this was like the most popular one so I was like I gotta get on it and I'm loving her new packaging because I had her old packaging from like the um her blushes I actually threw them away because they were like old really old and but this new packaging that she has is bomb and the mirror inside obviously I'm blinding you guys but oh and look at how they're just beaming it's like beaming <gasps> That's crazy. Uh, but it's so good. This is like, oh, uh, if I could rub this all over my body, I would. Just be glowy. And the last one is from Kylie also. And this is one of her loose, um, loose highlighters. And this is in the color Fiji. And I just remember Jaclyn Hill talking so much about the, was it this highlighter or another highlighter from her? Um, she has like several but oh yes just look at that when I put it on for like the very first time which was at the 90 going to the 90s party I was like oh my Jesus take the wheel take the wheel because I am going to beam up to outer space because it's so bright and so shiny it it just it's so soft and creamy and like oh I'm going to Vegas in like two weeks and this not two weeks two months and this is going with me because I'm just gonna be like BAM it's like it's just there I don't know what else you want me to say about highlights it's just like BAM I'm here I'm arrived and that's how I feel with this because it literally makes me feel like a million bucks and it makes me feel like I'm wearing a million bucks <laughs> so I just love this highlighter um so get you some of those highlighters look at those oh, and they don't I hate to look at this but look at this look at they, oh, they're all just so good so good highlighters and I'm loving the wet looking highlighters I don't like the chunky ones anymore like I do have the hourglass one but this one is more like kind of just to like coast your see this is nothing like it's you it's like a really pretty shimmer but it just doesn't make you look like your cheeks are wet so that is what I'm loving right now the highlight I am loving highlight right now um instead of like buying 
palettes, I'm buying highlighters. <laughs> so actually that is next on Z list is highlighter or eye palettes. Um, the only eye palette that I really have a lot to say is the Desi and Katie eye palette. Um, if you haven't seen, I did a look on uh, my channel and it is recreating Katie's look that she did on Instagram. I did it with these two shades and boo. Oh, this, this palette, if it could speak, it'd say, oh my God, apply me everywhere. <laughs> no, but seriously, like these shades, hold on, I'm trying to make sure I get them all. Okay, these shades make you, you can't even see that one. Uh, they're just so pretty and like those are awful swatches, but they're so pretty and this shade, these like the shimmer shades are amazing. They just feel so smooth and silky, especially this one. It almost feels like the, um, the ColourPop highlighters because of this, their wetness. It's so good. But I really loved like reaching for this again and actually doing like this look with those two shades. It was a, I really enjoyed that look. And also someone, um, someone also that I follow on Instagram, her name is Heather. Um, I can't remember her last name, but I will put her channel in the description box. She also did a look with this same palette she got inspired by me doing that palette that I that look by Katie so go check out her channel she's really sweet she's from I'm pretty sure Alabama because she has the cutest accent like it's even more cuter than mine like and I know I have an, a Texas accent but or is she from Georgia I can't remember but like go find out go find her she's cute blonde and she has a country accent and she's so cute so, um, yeah, go check her out and go check out her look that she did with this palette. Um, I have some tools that I've actually been liking. I have tools, lip, setting, spray, and lashes I have to talk about. And then we will be done. So, the tools I've been liking are, this is the Real Techniques Body Sponge. This, I didn't actually think I would like it because it's so huge and it was hard for me. I did it on, used one on my sister-in-law. And I was like, this is so difficult to put on your face. But she has like a smaller face than me. So, but when I use it on mine, it's so easy. It's easy for me to get my makeup done and fast. And it's like just, I go, pa -pa -pa -pa, and I'm done. It's so easy. It's so nice. So, sorry. Anyways, so I'm loving this body one. I see that Casey Home uses, uses it and it's like perfect for me. I guess me and her have big heads. Whatever. Um, so the three brushes I've been like that are my favorite go-to. I can't leave the house without them if I'm going somewhere. Um, this is the Morphe M405 brush. It is a perfect contour brush for me to get right here in my cheekbone and apply bronzer or contour. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it for contour because it feels like it's too big. So I do like it for bronzer and it just, it's perfect. I love it so much and I'm able just to go right here. I mean, if I used anything bigger, I think that's a mistake. So, this is, like, perfect for that. And then the next brush is my MAC 242 brush. And I love using this to uh, blend out my under eye. Cause, because if I use too small of a pencil, like, I don't even know where it's at. Um, it's a Morphe. Uh, oh, I wish I had it. I don't know. It's a stiff brush. And it's a short um, it's a finer brush. Um, if I use that, it's too defined and I don't like that. I really like it kind of dragged out underneath the eye and it's smoky and I love it like that. So this brush is great if you really like that drown out smoky look instead of using like a definer brush or anything like that, you can use one of these. And lastly, this brush has, I think I've talked about this brush several, several times. But it's a Morphe M441 brush and it is a longer don't longer hair dome brush and I love it for my um my crease and just like kind of sloppily blending everything out. I just grab it whenever I needed something blended and just blend it and it's perfect. Like it's one of those rescue brushes that I think everyone needs. So if you can pick you one up of these, you're good. You're golden. 
Okay, last few products. We're going to talk about lips really quick. Um, so, y'all probably are going to think this like video is sponsored by Kylie, but I've just been loving all her stuff lately. So, the first thing I'm loving is the Kylie Gloss, and this is in the shade Posey K. And this is just so really pretty. It's so pigmented to throw on and just give your lips a different shade. Like, I think literally my lips are just a little bit lighter than their shade, but it just makes it so pretty and they make your lips look plump. And I love this just to throw on. And then the next shade that I've been loving is, this is actually the Velvet Lip in um, Boy Bye. And her Velvet Lips literally stay as long on as long as her um, liquid lips and see that shade right there it is just so pretty on and I love putting it on and it just makes me feel beautiful and the it's very comfortable on my lips and it doesn't make me hate wearing lipstick um, so yes love that purpley shade right there it's so pretty thing to talk about my lighting keeps changing like through this whole entire video it's getting annoying the last things to talk about are my favorite lashes at the moment Girl, she has created some bomb lashes. Let me tell you. She, um, these are both in the style Drea and Paris. Now, I think I've been telling y'all the wrong style I've been wearing lately because, um, this is the style Drea and this, I literally thought I've been wearing them, but it's not. <laughs> these are... I'm actually, hold on, I'm gonna open Paris too. The style I've actually been wearing is Paris. And so here is Paris, oh, jeez. This is the style Paris, and then this is the style Drea. They are very similar. I think that's why I thought one of them was the other. But these lashes are so pretty on my eyes, and I can just pop them on and be good to go. Like, I can literally just like wear those in a bold lip and out the door I go. It is so great to actually finally find a brand that has thick. Okay, so these have a thick band on them if you can see that. And I never really liked thick bands. But ever since I started wearing these and also my Diva lashes, which are great. I love those too. We'll talk about those in a minute. But that these have been so comfortable to wear and the last time I think what brand was it I don't know I got a thick eye um I like uh, eyelash um set and I just didn't like it it felt really heavy on my head head my lashes and I couldn't like oh, keep my eyes open so Having these two brands, hold on, I'm going to pull out my recent ones for um, Diva, hold on. I can't even, I don't even know what these sh shade, these lashes are. I don't know, but like, they're so pretty. Like, these brands, these indie brands are doing such a great job of coming out with these lashes. And I'm obsessed with them. I really am obsessed with them. Like, all the time, I'm like, well, should I get on and buy more lashes? Like, should I do this? Should I do that? But, I mean, I don't know if I should buy more lashes or more um, products. I don't know. But, these uh, lashes are great, and I love both of these brands. I will put their, their websites down below for you guys. Why does my lighting keep changing on my phone? This is getting annoying. But, anyways, okay. So, that is all the products I have, you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this and you got something from it. I, um, I'm i absolutely loving these products. And my hand is really sticky now because I've been swatching. But, um, yeah. Go check out these products that I've mentioned. Maybe you'll like them. Maybe you'll learn to love them also. But, definitely go check them out and give them a try. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know that you did like it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Cali Kinder family. And I'm really sorry this video is very long, but I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.